So we are going to use MATLAB version 2020A to solve uh, this initial value problem. And now we know that uh, it doesn't have mu pad anymore and we can use uh, dsolve to solve such initial value problems uh, using an infinite series approximation. So let's see how to do that. So I have uh, pulled up MATLAB here. So what I will do first is, and I'm simply following the uh, uh, the steps that you can find in the uh, document in the documentation for dsolve in MATLAB itself. So then what we have to do is that we have to write this differential equation. So we shall say that the equation is uh, the derivative or the second derivative of y plus, just as it writes, sine x times the first derivative of y. Uh, even if we don't write comma 1, I think by default it will take it as the first derivative and then the exponential uh, of x and we have to put you know to for, for this purpose we have to put two equal signs over there and now the equation is defined okay and then when we want to solve the differential equation uh, what we have to do first is or rather this uh, initial value problem okay so first before solving the initial value problem uh, let's just go ahead and uh, look at the solution in general that how we would do this. So we'll go for D solve. Okay, equation. All right. And now we want to write this in the powers of x, just the Mac, just a Maclaurin series. Okay. And uh, which simply means for formal purposes, if you recall the Taylor series, that it simply means that powers of who? Uh, X minus zero. Because uh, remember, you can just take uh, any point where the expansion is valid and, sub and, and expand it in that power. So what we will say is, and uh, that our expansion point is zero that is we'll expand in the x to the power zero and the order is um, say we want up to for instance to the power 10 so we will go up to 11 steps all right so see what it gives us oh man okay so yeah it gives us all this here okay so we have to go further down. Let me let me go ahead and expand my MATLAB window now. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and give it the initial conditions because uh, here we have gotten a huge expression here. Okay. So let's not worry about it. Okay. So our initial conditions were what? Uh, y at zero. Uh, is one and again we'll put double equal signs and then uh, it talks about d y at uh, zero equals negative one okay and there we are okay all right where did i make mistake in my parentheses let me look for it okay or maybe it uh, maybe we need to define uh, who is uh, dy all right so we will define that uh, I mean, it writes dy here, so we will assume it knows it. But anyways, let's make that as a guess. So it's the derivative of y 
x with respect to x okay and uh, now let's try it once again okay and here we are uh, i hope you can see it okay so oh no so again okay so we oh i see i wrote uh, d parentheses y there and here it's d sub y and okay now help me god okay now it works okay very good so yeah i i defined a dy at x and here i put extra parentheses so that's what the mistake was so here you have the you know the first 11 terms of infinite series expansion in the powers of x all right